A sincere congratulations to our friend, my friend, and our colleague, fellow lawyer and alum Bob Stein on his 50th teaching anniversary. Bob is one of the foremost legal minds of our time, a leader and trailblazer at the upper reaches of higher education, government, and the law. As a professor starting in 1964, as a university administrator in the 1970s, as visionary dean of Minnesota law for 15 years, through his 12 years as executive director and COO of the American Bar Association, Bob has made an enormous impact on law, legal institutions, and the rule of law. Before Bob became dean, Minnesota was all too often a place where famous law professors got their start and then moved on to one of the top-ranked law schools. Bob changed that dynamic by raising funds to support numerous endowed chairs. These chairs helped Minnesota retain rising stars and indeed hire them away from other schools. He wrote a book in 1978, his history of the law school, titled In Pursuit of Excellence. And that seems to me an apt description of Bob's own career as well as the law school. And I think about his work on the Uniform Commercial Code, his leadership of the ABA, all the public service that he's done. Really, we, the law school, the university, the state of Minnesota, the country, owe Bob a profound debt of gratitude. Bob Stein was the dean of the law school when I joined the faculty in 1982. One of my responsibilities was to serve as director of the law clinics. This was a challenging job because clinical education is rather labor-intensive and expensive. But with Bob's strong support, uh, we laid a foundation for what is today a world-class clinical education program consisting of more than 20 teaching and practicing clinics. Bob was the one who coined the often repeated phrase, the University of Minnesota Law Library is the jewel in the crown of the law school. As his dean, Bob ensured that the law library had the funding and the facility to attract an exceptional staff and support its mission of providing outstanding services to current and future generations of law students and faculty. The lives of countless students and citizens have been shaped by the ideals he holds and the example he embodies. The Stein Lecture is a great example of this, and I'm honored to recognize this incredible program and to have taken part in the introduction for the lecture's 2019 speaker, Justice Kagan. Your topic of rule of law, important in all of the years, Bob, that you wrote about it and lectured on it, and it couldn't be more important today as we underscore and fight for the importance of rule of law in this country. One of the many reasons Bob has excelled as a leader is his unique gift of making those around him believe in themselves and giving them the confidence to achieve their most ambitious goals. In turn, we all believe in Bob. In his vision, brilliance, absolute integrity, and deep love for the University of Minnesota Law School. So Bob Stein, you've done it all over the past 50 years at the law school. You're a great classroom teacher, a productive scholar, a practicing lawyer who's well respected in the legal world, and you're the face of the law school to the outside world in Minnesota and beyond. Congratulations and thank you, Bob, for all you have done for this great law school. Bob, I hope this last 50 years is just the prelude to another wonderful 50 years. Best wishes. Thank you, Bob, for your great long service to the university and particularly to our wonderful University of Minnesota Law School. Bob, here's to your incredible first half century of teaching success. We look forward to all that will come in the next one. Congratulations again. Thank you for your great stay, for your great run, and for all you do. May the mutual affection between you and Minnesota law continue forever. <laughs>